It's one of Atlanta's most beloved traditions is bracing for unprecedented crowds on Thursday. For the first time in 50 years, the annual Hosea Williams Thanksgiving dinner will be served to go. Here's John Sherrick. After decades of serving those in need, the need now is staggering. I've never seen anything like this. Right now, Elizabeth Omalami, president of Hosea Helps in Atlanta, along with her volunteers, are preparing thousands of Thanksgiving meals to go to give away to those who line up on Thursday outside the Georgia World Congress Center and to deliver to homeless shelters. The food boxes are replacing this pandemic year anyway. The huge annual indoor sit-down holiday dinner that her father, civil rights leader Hosea Williams, founded 50 years ago. We do feed hungry bellies, but that program also feeds hungry minds. This year, we don't know. We don't know how long the line for food is going to be. Omalami says this year so many families are in desperate need. Requests for groceries and rent assistance year-round have increased some 300 percent over last year, while donations are down nearly half of what they were last year. And I've gotten Facebook posts and emails from people that said they've never been in a food line before. So as you take what we normally would see times 300 percent and then you put on top of that the fear of the pandemic, the uh, isolation and the anxiety. And so you're seeing people who just need to see a smiling face. Volunteers are still needed, she says, to sign up on the Hosea Helps website for this enduring and endearing Atlanta tradition that after 50 years is finding a way to keep going.